Hey there, so we've not posted a video for some time, but the reason for that is quite simple. We've been working really, really hard on the next exciting step in our journey, which is a brand new farm built from scratch. I'll tell you more about this in this video, as well as a creative way of turning that van into a great mushroom growing project. So we'll tell you more about this new farm in a bit, of course, but first some really, really exciting news. We've just found out the other day that we've secured finance for this new farm through a program called LEAP, and it's run by the Real Farming Trust. We're really pleased to work with them on this. They've got this vision of supporting and building from first principles a whole new farming food and farming system, supporting and building new farmers for the future. So really pleased to be working with them. The farm that we'll be building is less than a mile from here. It's absolutely ideal for all of our plans. It's been a lot of planning though. I mean, you're talking about lots of five-year forecasts, governance reports, you're talking stress tests, profit and loss accounts, social impact reports, all of that stuff. But that's now behind us and now it's really exciting because this farm here around me is just not so suitable for us anymore. Loads and loads of bottlenecks that we've had fun solving along the way. We've outgrown it basically. Now there are some more updates as well. That's not the only thing we'll be working on. So you might be thinking as well, what will you be doing at this new farm? So the new farm is gonna be about four times the size of the farm that we've got here. And that in itself is really exciting just to have the space to do all the things we've been wanting to do for years now. But on top of that, it's just gonna be a blank slate as well. So the farm we're in at the moment is not really fit for purpose. Not only is it too small, but all the rooms are in different places. We've got steps up and down everywhere. It's a nightmare to move around with lots of heavy substrate everywhere. So that's another aspect of the new farm I'm really looking forward to, nice flat floors. But also we can lay the farm out in the perfect layer out to mirror the flow of substrate through the farm and out the other end in a way that it should be done you know, right from the start. So I'm really excited to have a chance to design it from scratch. That's what we're spending a lot of time on at the moment, talking to lots of experts in the mushroom industry. And it will enable us to do a lot more of what we've already been doing, but also to offer a few new things as well. So what will we actually be doing in the new farm? We'll be growing a lot more fresh mushrooms. So we'll be growing around about two tonnes a month of fresh organic oyster mushrooms for supply all around the UK. We'll also be producing bales like I've got here, ready to fruit substrate bales. So these will enable anyone in the UK that wants to just buy their substrate in and fruit it to be able to do so in a really easy, simple and affordable way. And this can be perfect, you know, if you don't have much space, for example, you only need a fruiting room at that point in order to produce mushrooms. There's also a really easy way in as well if you're just getting started and you don't want to go through the learning curve of producing your own substrate, you can just buy ready to fruit substrate in. So if you're interested in that and you're in the UK, please do get in touch. We'll be starting to supply that later on in the spring. In addition to the fresh mushrooms and the substrate bales, of course, we have our mushroom kits as well, which we've been doing for many years now, and we find a lot of satisfaction in. All of these products also are gonna be organically certified. We've just gone through the process. So it's been a busy few months for us, and we're really excited about what we can do in the new farm. Obviously, the production side is just one element of it for us. We are focused on a lot of other stuff as well. So Eric will tell you the other things that we'll be working on. So alongside the production at the new farm, we'll be doing other things too. So many of you know that we've got a strong focus on supporting and helping others to grow mushrooms. And we're so, so proud of the fact that over the past few years, we've been able to build up and support and engage with the community that spans over 70 countries around the world. Just from this humble farm here, it's pretty awesome, I think. And the thing is, we used to run one day workshops at the farm as well, and we'll look to resume those at the new farm. And that's really exciting. So people can visit a mushroom farm, learn a little bit about how awesome it is to grow mushrooms. And on top of that, I'm so, so excited about the fact that we'll finally look to create a schools program. So imagine this, local schools children just walking around the farm, learning more about food, food production, issues with it, and also find out more about mushrooms, of course, how to grow them, and then they'll all go back to the classroom to grow some mushrooms there. And of course, if you're a part of this online course community and you were wondering, well, what's in it for me, then you can look forward to lots and lots of new lessons that we'll be making around this whole journey that we're on. There's so many decision points, so many conversations that we've had, and we can share that with you. So for instance, the organic certification and everything that comes with it, we'll build material around that for the online course community. Now let's go and have a look at that van. So I mentioned earlier on how we have often struggled for space on the farm here. So when one of our team members said they were selling a van like this recently, we snapped it up because we saw instantly that it could be a really nice incubation space. Let's have a look inside. 
So as you can see, we're using it here to incubate a load of columns, and it really is the ideal colonization room. It's well insulated. It used to be a food delivery van, so it has a fridge in the back as well. And so all we've needed to do to it really is to kit it out with a bit of electric supply. We've got radiator for heat. We've got an ink bird that moderates the temperature, along with some fresh air coming through from the fridge or from outside, a bit of woodwork to hang the columns off of. And this is all that was needed to turn it into a fully functioning incubation space. Now it's only about four meters squared, but we we can incubate in here around about one ton of substrate every single month and that's enough to grow around about 250 kilos of mushrooms when you take the substrate and fruit it. On that note you could actually turn it into a full farm by converting these rooms next door into a fruiting space and that would enable you to take the whole thing on tour you could take it to events or festivals or you know just use it as a mobile mushroom farm. So we like to use this space as a fridge a bit of extra storage space for whether it's for kits or for spawn but you could use that as part of a fruit room space and likewise with a room like this you could just put... <laughs> This is a good place to put any friends that need to cool off or um, you know potentially you could turn it into a fruit room with a bit of lighting, ventilation and some shelving so yeah, I hope you can see it's a nice example of how you can turn something, even if it's relatively small like this, like a little refrigerated van, you can turn that into a mini mushroom farm. And the same principle can be applied to all sorts of other spaces. For example, shipping containers, which we have a video on if you want to learn a bit more about that. So if you want to follow along with us on our journey as we plan and build in the new farm, then do subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on that. We're going to be making a few videos in the months ahead that document that process and some of our learnings. And if you're just getting started growing mushrooms, then do check out our video, a beginner's workshop to grow in mushrooms it's a really useful place to start thanks a lot for joining us today and we'll see you in the next one